Hello and welcome back you beautiful people of YouTube. I have been back after a long long time and I apologize for that. And I'm back today with a review of the iFi XDSD. It is a portable Bluetooth deck amp. And as you can see, what it is, is a Swiss Army knife. I said that thing about, I think, the black level. But this is more of a Swiss Army knife. And I'll explain by, oh, I'll explain by the merits of the functionalities of this unit. First of all, on the back, you have USB input then there's another port for charging and then there's this PDF optical input and on the front you have a single ended 3.5 output that also my camera is freaking out right now that also doubles as a line out output now let's put this thing away because i think i've given pretty good tour of this and let's talk about that so when i talk about this unit i want to say i want to start by talking about how many um how many devices are out there that actually have these many features? Sir? They have a USB in separate port for charging and a um, SPDIF optical in and Bluetooth on top of that. How many devices are out there without the add ons that can do that out of the box? Not very many. So, out of the box, like right out the gate, this device. Um, kind of sets itself apart from the competition because of that now is it the question is is it any good and is it worth the four hundred dollar that iFi asks for this now I reviewed um, black label from iFi way back and I fell in love with it this is similar but a little different and I'll talk about the comparison in the main conclusion of the review but um, let's go about the unit first it is roughly um, I'm sorry it is roughly the size of a male wallet the on the front there is this volume rotary button thing this thing will double as um, volume control by a dial and it will turn it clicks so it will turn on and off the device this in conjunction with the I'm sorry this in conjunction with the setting buttons will switch this XDSD through the various modes it, it has for example for inputs if you want to select the wired inputs, uh, USB and uh, SPDIF optical, you while powering all on, you hold this these two buttons and you let go of the setting buttons first or the other one. I don't remember exactly what it is. And the same function is used to switch between line out and headphone out on the output on the front. You basically hold two buttons together and you let go of the one, uh, of the certain one first. I don't know which one was it, uh, but when you use this device continuously, you get used to it. It is pretty simple. It is not uh, extremely difficult, but there is a learning curve to it. Now, before I want to talk about the sound, I want to talk about the driving power. This amp is pretty powerful. It has half a watt. 
and the black label I had had 4 watts per channel this is this has half a watt and that does not sound like a lot but when I could use this device with my 600 ohms bare dynamic DD880 I'm not lying at all this X DSD pushed my 600 ohms bare dynamic DD880 to a satisfactory level and that in itself is a is a feat you know how many portable devices out there can do that you know not not a lot so I just wanted to mention that even though half a watt does not sound like a lot this device has some serious uh, driving power there wasn't a headphone that I own that that this could not drive only thing I <clears throat> only two headphones I think of that this device cannot drive properly and those might be the HD 600 and the Fostex mods you know T50 RP, T20 RP those mods moving on now let's talk about the sound and I'm actually excited to talk about the sound here because in my opinion there is not a single doubt in my mind that this is audiophile quality through and through it the output of this device is very very good the noise was minimal um, it is not a slow amp at all it keeps up the speed you can hear when there are those intro instrument going um, uh, you know when the sounds are layered like a harp or a, or a guitar like a couple guitars going at the same time it keeps up the pace and um, the blackness although I would not say the background blackness was class leading or top of the line it was satisfactory to me the instrument separation was good um, accurate amp sound stage I would not say was super wide it was quite a like um, the DAC X6 the um, the $50 desktop DAC amp combo that I tested a while ago about a year ago that thing sounded way wider than comparison to in comparison to the XDSD so I would say as far as the sound goes um, that is the only downside I can think of um, when I tested the, this device that the sound stage was kinda narrow I, I wouldn't say narrow I would say alright narrow would be like too, sh too close together I would say that it, it, it could not project a very wide sound stage like a lot of other amps that I have tested they do but those amps usually are um, desktop amps um, what does it sound like what is the tuning like I, I have it right now set in the measure mode let me focus the camera on this this is the mode that you should have this in because the other mode the listen mode that is I, I felt personally to my ears that there was a little bit of a tilt towards the treble which is again not a big deal I thought that that was maybe sometimes people want to record a mix or stuff like that they're trying to judge the music that's why they want to do that but to me it wasn't it's not my choice but in the measure mode it was pretty neutral and I like the measure mode over the listen mode now battery life five hours six hours driving a fairly hard to drive headphone not too hard IEMs about eight hours that is what the battery life felt to me um, now I was talking about the amp right now let's talk about the DAC and not to say that the amp is inferior in any way shape or form but the DAC of this unit is really the star of the show right here because here's why 
first of all this deck is as good wired uh, I mean as good wireless as it is wired now if you are somebody who is just watching my videos for the first time let me give you a little bit of background information in hi-fi in audio that almost never happens that a wireless DAC a wireless output of a DAC is um, as good as the wired because that is just it was physically very hard to do until recently and this is one of the few devices that can do it right now second when I compared the deck directly against my desktop deck sitting right there um, I'm not gonna say it was um, that my um, okay I'm gonna say this this I, I could hear the difference I could hear my desktop deck SU8 beating this but it was still close. I could see my deck being wider, being more dynamic, the layering was better, almost everything was better. But I'm astonished, genuinely, by how, by how close the deck, I'm sorry, by how close the deck came to my SML. SMSL SU8 DAC and um, that was astonishing and then on top of that it is as good wired as it is wireless when you put those two things together it is really uh, it is great it is awesome I love it I love carrying this device around and uh, this is the kind of device that people say oh uh, why do I need that? I have a great system at home. I have these IEMs or uh, portable headphones. Why do I need this? But once you start using it, you cannot do without it. I'll be a little heartbroken when I send it back. But, um, yeah, um, that is what I wanted to say that it is tough. Letting go of this once I've gotten used to it. It is that good. Um, there are some things I want to mention. Huge shout out to the Team i You guys are the best in this business. Um, I cannot say a bad thing about you guys. Awesome. You know, awesome team. I want to do want to mention to all of you, my viewers, that even though they sent this out to me to review, my opinions are neutral 100%. I don't let anyone affect what what is coming through this um, mouthpiece of mine. Now, second thing I want to mention is that um, there was a quality control issue. This um, black dial that is covering this uh, white button that came off. I, this is a review unit that might be because of that, but just want to let you know, guys, that there was a little bit of issue, although it is a review unit. Now the biggest problem that I had with this unit is that I cannot take calls on it when I connect it to my Android device. That is a huge pain in the dick because I have to take out my phone and take the call on my phone. But um, not a deal breaker. Definitely not a deal breaker. And my conclusion is that the competition looks good but I still think that this is a hundred percent worth the purchase if you are looking at it if you are thinking about buying it go do it there aren't very many devices that have the same number of inputs same number of power and same number of uh, sound call same type of sound quality same type of fidelity usually they are missing a thing or two I'm almost to the 15 minute mark and I'm gonna say bye bye I know some of you guys missed me I'm sorry I'll try to make more videos more frequently please 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 subscribe please please and uh, that is it you guys have a great weekend love ya